going on fellas welcome back to the channel man as you guys can see we got a whole bunch of snow last night today's thursday which means it's the last day of the first week of the spring semester so i'm just gonna take you guys through my day all right fellas alhamdulillah we finally made it to campus um so i got a whole bunch of stuff packed up in my gym bag in my backpack for school and i'll show you all that stuff in just a little bit but i am running a, a little bit late today so i'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit all right what's going on fellas just finished up my class man um i'm about to go to some like supplemental instruction it's just pretty much to stay ahead of the class uh, because the classes are a little bit challenging but as you guys can see it, the sun has already set in the middle of downtown inshallah after this i'll be heading to the gym and inshallah showing you guys around the new facility and just taking you guys through my leg workout to be honest with you guys i don't even know what building i'm going to but i'm gonna try to find it So I think I'm at the building I'm supposed to be at. Let's go see if the door's open. <laughs> building entrance on 14th Street. That way. So there's 14th Street. Oh, I think I see my class. Okay, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright fellas, so we're done with everything today. Done with the class, done with the tutoring, all that stuff, extra stuff. Right now, I'm about to make wudu, pray maghrib, and then go hit the gym. All right, fellas, I'm about to get ready to go to the gym. I've got my caffeine pill right here, pills. I usually take just 200 milligrams. So one of these pills right here is 200 milligrams of caffeine. And then I also packed up my creatine and uh, beta alanine in a Ziploc bag. That way I could just put it in this empty Gatorade bottle and I have it ready to go. And if you guys don't know, um, I stopped taking pre-workout quite a while ago. Uh, for various reasons some of the main reasons is number one it's super expensive and number two uh, all those artificial flavors and colors and all that stuff uh, I'm not a huge fan of so I stopped taking all that and uh, this has been working perfectly fine for me so that's what I'm doing Real quick, I was playing back the footage. I saw that the caffeine pill wasn't in uh, focus, so this is what I'm taking right here. It is from Pro Lab, uh, and yeah, 100 tablets. I don't know if you guys can see; it's a little bit dark, but uh, it says uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine, and then a little bit of calcium in there as well. As always, we're gonna start off with a couple of stretches and just a couple of uh, different movements to get the muscles activated. All right, so just to show you guys real quick what I have in my gym bag, I got the knee uh, sleeves, we got the squat shoes, we've got the weightlifting belt, which probably weighs the most, and we've also got the hypervolt just to make sure we warm it up and we stay nice and loose, and then our headphones and uh, some extra shorts, and that's pretty much it. There's this bar at the gym, at the school gym, that's not at my gym, so I definitely want to try this out. I'm gonna start off with it and see how it goes. All right, as you guys enjoy my leg workout video footage, inshallah, I'm gonna give you guys a commentary a little bit. Uh, and the reason, the, the whole reason I made, I'm making this commentary is because of the fact that this video footage was filmed a couple of weeks ago. And I've been trying to post this video for quite a while now, but I just haven't had the time, I haven't had uh, like 
a lot of free time to post this video and as you guys see it's over 20 minutes long so it's, it obviously took a while to edit um, and it takes a while to upload to, to YouTube and stuff like that just because it's such a big file so the reason I'm making or I, the, the whole reason I'm talking about this specific topic today uh, is just because this semester is like a lot more different than any other semester I've uh, I've ever taken pretty much or I've ever had and it's just the fact that I have a lot of studying to do um, and I just really want to do well in these classes that I'm taking and finish off my uh, college career you know strong and child love so my time has been very very limited and to the point where last week I went to the gym twice you know what I mean and throughout my whole uh, like lifting career for the last six seven years since the uh, junior year in high school, I've been going to the gym almost every single day, maybe taking a day or two off every single week. Um, and that's pretty much how my lifestyle has always been. I've always been consistent with the gym. And so it's really, really different for me to start like not going to the gym as frequently, you know? And so it's gonna bring me to the topic of how to kind of deal with your lifestyle if your lifestyle changes. Uh, or if you're not, you know, if, if you don't have a lot of free time, if you're super busy, let's say you're traveling or you work a lot or whatever it is that you do, uh, or, or you're like me, you're a college student, high school student, and you're super busy with a lot of different things, how could you balance, uh, you know, bodybuilding or going to the gym with your life, with, with whatever you're doing in your life? So the way, the way that I think about it is uh, the gym is a privilege, you know what I mean? Being able, having the time to go to the gym is definitely a privilege, okay? So if you have the time to go to the gym, you should definitely be going to the gym. It's good for your health, it's good for your mind. It's, there's a lot of different benefits, obviously, of going to the gym. But when you don't have time to go to the gym, you have to realize, uh, do you have a valid excuse or not, okay? Is what you're doing more important than your health? or then your mental health, your physical health, and stuff like that. So if you say you're busy, you don't have time, but every single day you're playing uh, Xbox, PS4, whatever you're doing, playing video games for three, four hours a day, or even two hours a day, then you have extra time, you know what I mean? Or if you're watching Netflix or whatever you're doing, you have to analyze, do you really not have 45 to 60 minutes a day to give to the gym? If you really, really do not have that kind of time, then don't go to the gym, simply put. And, and that's me being honest with you guys. Obviously, um, I like going to the gym. I've been doing it for years. It's my passion. I was a personal trainer for, for a while. But life happens, you know what I mean? You got to take care of whatever comes at, you know, in your way. So if you got to go to your job, if you got to work, then that's what you got to do to put food on the table. If you got to go to school, that's what you got to do to, you know, secure your future as, as best as you can. So if you don't have time to go to the gym, it's completely okay, okay? But if you really, really want to just be healthy, stay healthy, um, then try to do different splits. So I'll give you guys an example of what I did uh, the past couple of weeks when I don't have a lot of time to go to the gym. So I know this week, literally today actually, I had my first practical exam and it was it, I was studying every single day pretty much for it. It took a lot of time. And so I knew that the practical exam was going to be today. So the last week, I only went to the gym twice. And I did an upper body day and a lower body day. Now, obviously, if you're going to talk about science and is that really effective, et cetera, et cetera, it's not going to, it's not going to make you any bigger and it's not going to help you lose fat. It's gonna, what my, my goal is when I go to the gym two or three times a week is to maintain what I have, is to get the blood flowing, is to just stay healthy. I'm not, you're not gonna get bigger. I'm not worried about getting bigger if I'm super busy with something else. It's not gonna happen. To get big or to cut fat, it takes a lot of dedication. You have to go to the gym six, seven days a week. Your diet has to be on point. Your water intake has to be on point. Your sleep has to be on point. Your stress levels have to be low, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a lot of different variables that go into like accomplishing your fitness goals. And so pretty much what I've been doing is, is trying to maintain the muscle and the strength that I have. And alhamdulillah it's been working a little bit. I look I have lost a little bit of strength, but obviously I'm gonna prioritize, you know, school over going to the gym. 
you know, or, or getting big or getting stronger. It's not, it's important, but it's not more important than school uh, for me at least, okay? So that's pretty much my advice. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. I'm gonna show you guys the CU Denver Wellness Center, a whole tour of the CU Denver Wellness Center. So inshallah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Hi guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of the CU Denver Wellness Building. So when you first walk in, this is what you walk into, pretty much you walk through those doors. There's a couple spots where you can study. Uh, they've got outlet plugs right there if you need to charge your stuff. They've got, I think, four study rooms. So it goes all the way from 432. Somebody's using that first one. And then there's a couple couches you can sit in. A couple tables you can chill in with your friends as well. The front desk. And then you walk into the kitchen over here. You can grab a towel if you want. A nice, pretty chill uh, area. Super comfortable couches. Okay, so they'll be closing in 30 minutes, but pretty much this is a big table right here where you can chill, eat, do whatever you want to do. Uh, a couple tables as well to study in, microwaves, uh, sinks, towels, or whatever you call them, paper towels. And then a big table as well, vending machine just in case you forgot your lunch. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. There's also the lock rooms on this side as well. And then I'll show you guys the first floor weightlifting area as well. I'll show you guys all the equipment, but it's, it's really not that much. You can also study in there. Super nice and cozy. Elevators. If you're lazy, you don't want to walk up these stairs. Lockers. And then... This is pretty much the weightlifting area. You got your water. Uh, Tongs over there, free weights, dumbbells, you got a whole bunch of benches that you could use, uh, a couple cardio machines, preacher curl, uh, a whole bunch of easy bars, and then you got a boxing bag, um, cables that you could use, a lap pull down machine, a roll machine right here. Uh, and then a tricep extension on the other side, right over here. Leg press on this side, um, and then the coolest thing about this gym is just the platforms. There's six different platforms that you can use to squat and deadlift, bench, whatever you need to do. And then all the way in the corner, there's uh, those ab machines that I was using earlier and for your lower back and just your posterior chain in general. And that is pretty much it. Um, so yeah, if you need to get a workout in here, you could definitely do that. There's also stuff that you can use uh, to recover. A whole bunch of foam rollers right there. And then a nice comfortable pad that you can use to sit in. So that's pretty much it. All right guys, for the second floor, there is a whole rock climbing wall. And uh, it's pretty nice, man. The people here are super nice. They want to help you out. So it's really nice and friendly, even if you've never wait, uh, done rock climbing before. Oh, and it's super tall. I'm assuming 30 feet. And then also on the second floor, there is different like uh, cable exercises, uh, bicycles, rowing machines, uh, treadmills, and then also a bouldering wall, which you could do bouldering on if you do rock climbing. Um, but honestly, there's not a huge variation in the type of equipment that's here. Uh, and I'll show you guys all the stuff right now. So there's the bikes, the treadmills over there, a couple rolling machines. Lab workout, shoulders, um, lap pull down machine, pull ups, Stairmaster, a couple leg exercises, 
as well. And then we got the that thing right there. Whole bunch of water fountains. We got some equipment here for the chest, for your back, and then a couple other exercises for your uh, for your arms. And then I'm gonna show you guys what's really cool about this facility that I love. This bathroom's over here, by the way. And then elevators that can take you uh, from the first floor to the third. There's administration, conference uh, rooms right there. And then here is a really cool spot. So it's like a lounge. There's a couple couches right here. Uh, some games that you could play. Whatever this thing is called. The uh, thing where you put circles in. Another elevator. A ping pong table. Two TVs. I think you could play like different video games on there and stuff. There's three basketball courts that I'll show you guys in a little bit. A foosball table. And then just a whole bunch of places to study, which is really nice since obviously this is a university. And then we got some chairs here. Super comfy. I could definitely sit in that for hours. And then that overlooks the first floor as well. By the way, here are the arm exercises that you could do. I didn't want to film it because somebody was using it. But triceps right there, biceps right there. And that's pretty much it. Honestly, if I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, uh, the weightlifting equipment here is not the best. Um, you could definitely get a workout in, but it's not it's not like the gym that I'm used to with a whole bunch of different equipments and variation of equipment and stuff like that. Let me go up to the third floor and show you guys what's up there. All right, so as soon as you get into the third floor, you can see three different basketball courts. One is multi-purpose. You could play like volleyball or soccer in there. And then a little weightlifting area, I guess you could call it. You got a bicycle right there. A couple different bands, benches, and then dumbbells, kettlebells, and medicine balls. Uh, foam rollers, yoga mats, that thing right there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now let me show you guys a couple of other things. There's these things where you can kick. Bam! Oh god, I missed it. I missed it completely. But yeah, you could uh, fight these if you want. Uh, a little scale here. And then if you keep on going, you'll get to uh, another area. So there's an elevator over here. And this is called the loft so this is pretty cool and secluded if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to do a lot of workouts in front of people this is a really nice place there's ropes right here you can do a lot of functional training i feel like uh in this area more ropes plyometric boxes these things that you can carry around whole bunch of kettlebells spongy things uh foam rollers trx ropes bands uh, 60 to 125 pound bags right there, jump rope, and then these uh, super cool treadmills, pretty awesome. I honestly don't know how to use it, I'm not gonna lie, but they look pretty cool. Some uh, ski things, and I don't know what that is either. I'm assuming you put a whole bunch of weight in there, you drag it around, and then this thing right here. Now let me show you guys one more thing. Let's open this up. I know it's freezing right now. It is super cold. It looks like somebody's already been out here. But this patio overlooks the whole campus. Invesco, uh, what is it called? Uh, Sports Authority Field or Invesco Field, whatever it is. Broncos play over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, there's six flags right there. That blue light that's flashing a little bit. That's uh, six flags. The Tivoli Student Union, whole bunch of parking, whole bunch of classrooms over there. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Really cool loft, especially as we get towards the warmer uh, warmer months, which be, will be, I, I'm assuming, later on this semester. So I'll definitely take you guys back here if I have the chance to. 
uh, but that's pretty much it, fellas. Um, it's a pretty nice, I would say it's a nice facility, but it's not the best weight room. So if you're really concerned about getting a good weight room, then uh, I'd probably go to another gym. Now, a couple more things I wanna show you guys. Reflection rooms where you could pray, do whatever you wanna do in there, two of them. Those are really uh, important for me specifically and other Muslims because we pray. There's something called the Nook, which I can't go in right now. Yeah, it's locked, but I don't know if you guys can see it through the reflection, but there's little, uh, little pads that you can sleep on, take naps on, and seats and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. There's a whole bunch of offices. I don't know what they do in there. Um, and there's uh, bathrooms, private bathrooms. There's also lockers over here. And then there's two huge studios. Oh shoot, somebody's in one of the studios, so I'll go in the other one. So here it is. This is super, super nice. Let me turn the light on so you guys can see better. Click, okay. So the lights turn on. There's weights, mats, huge mirrors. So if you want to flex and stuff like that, you can definitely do that in here. What's really nice, man, is the view. You know what I mean? I, I can imagine doing yoga in here, nice and peaceful, overlooking the city, downtown. Uh, you guys can't really see it that well, I think, but all of downtown is right there. Um, if you go down that street, sorry, I'm like looking, I'm not looking at the camera, but if you go down this street right here, you go, you'll go to the 16th Street Mall, um, but there's a lot of reflection right now, so I don't, I don't really think you guys can see that. But yeah, huge studio. There's a pool right here for if you want to like stretch. Let me show you guys. You can put your leg up here, boom, and stretch. And there's a whole bunch of sticky notes for some reason. But yeah, and then there's another studio. Somebody's using that, so I'm not going to disturb them. But there's two studios that you can use. Yeah, they're dancing in there, so I'm not going <laughs> to... Yeah, I'm not going in there. Okay, where am I? I'm kind of lost. That was super awkward because I was not trying to record anybody or get anybody in my videos. But that's pretty much it. That's all of the C Denver Wellness uh, building facilities or services that you can use. Um, it's a super nice facility, uh, but honestly, just like I said before, the weightlifting area is kind of lacking in terms of equipment. But if you really needed to uh, get a workout in, you could definitely get it in here. Um, and so that's what I'll be doing throughout the semester, probably on Tuesdays when I'm super busy, just come in here, get a quick workout in, and then just go home. Um, and then the study rooms are super nice as well. Let me show you guys actually the inside of one study room. Oh, somebody's in there. Uh oh, how do I open the light? Okay, so this is the study room, a TV, a big old table, and a huge white erase board that you could use if you wanted to use it. And that's some comfortable seats as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you guys like these kind of vlogs. It's it's kind of super hard for me to do just because you got to carry on the camera all day. It's super heavy. I don't want to break anything or scratch anything on the camera when I leave it in the bag. So it was kind of challenging, but of course it was a fun challenge to uh, accomplish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop a like, inshallah, if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.